Hi, I'm going to share how to use the search engines on Music Play Online. And I say engines because there's two. I can search with the Discover, I can search with the song list. So if I'm in Discover, it will search not just songs, but it'll search other areas of the site as well. So I'm going to type in Halloween. And I can see I have lesson modules that deal with Halloween. Lesson seven would be October week three. Lesson eight would be October week four. I have a Halloween unit. These songs all have Halloween in the title or Halloween in the lyrics. So these are all Halloween related songs. And I even have some listening selections that are related to Halloween. If I want to search just songs, I can use the song list. I can filter by grade. On the old site, you saw the grades up at the top. Now the grades are here. And if I search grade one, one thing that I see right away, I've got a lot more information than I had in the old site. If I'm looking for my reading songs, I have my tone set and rhythm visible for me. If I want to follow a really uh, sequenced Kodai program, this is a great way to find all your Kodai reading songs. If I prefer to teach in a more ORF process way, I can see where I have songs with ORF arrangements just by looking at the song list. Um, I'm going to go out of that because I'm going to show you also the powerful filters that we have. So if I'm looking for a song to teach a specific rhythm, I'm in third grade, I want my third grade to start learning some songs with 16th notes. So I searched rhythm and then I selected 16th notes and now I have all the songs where we have 16th notes. Red means grade three. Blue, grade four. Forest Green is grade five. And this actually is a kindergarten song that uses 16th notes. I might want to bring it back in third grade, just to review. So this is powerful to be able to do this. I'm going to remove that filter and we're going to add a new one. So let's search by tone set. Let's say I'm looking for songs that have high dough. And again, I get a nice selection of songs. So orange is grade two, red grade three, blue grade four, forest green grade five, and we actually even have um, a, a pre-K song that has a high dough if you want to go back and use it. And I also get all that information, not just the high dough, but I get the tone set, I get the rhythm, I get if there's an ORF arrangement in here. New filter. I'm going to look for choral music. So song type, and I'm going to look for choral, and I get a beautiful list of choral pieces. And if it's an SEL song for social emotional learning, there's comments here that will show you that. And again, grade one is yellow, orange is grade two, grade three, grade four, grade five. Of course, you can cross grades when you're doing choral pieces. I might teach Linstead Market to a good group of grade um, threes if I wanted to. And there's some really lovely songs in middle school that can be taught to younger grades as well. Many of these songs will have performance demos. You just simply have to check in them and you'll see if they have a performance demo or not. Another song type that I might search for, add filter, go to song type. I might be looking for singing games. I love playing games with my students. Where are the singing games? And so I can see all these singing games in grade one. There's lots in grade two. Because there's so many, I might want to filter by grade level. Let's filter the singing games by grade. So what singing games do I have in grade three? Plainsies, Clapsies, you toss a beanbag. That's really fun. The kids love it. There's kids demos. Um, and all the games are fun. And almost every one of these singing games will have a kids demo. Live children, not animated bunnies, live children showing you how the, the game is played. So that's a great search tool. If you want um, to search 
I can search for all these things. Uh, if I'm looking for, say, two chord or three chord songs, I can search that. So I go to chords. Let's search for our two chord songs. So if I'm teaching ukuleles, that would help me to find a whole bunch of songs for the kids to play that use only two chords. I want to go to directory. And here is where I can filter and find my Kodai sequence. And I want my Kodai sequence for grade two. And this will show me all my reading songs. And there's lots of reading songs in every grade level. And you will also notice that because many of these are pentatonic songs, they uh, have ORF arrangements with them. And all the ORF arrangements include some creating activity. If I choose ORF instead um, and grade two, I'm going to have similar results. Let's look at grade one and see what we come up with for grade one. So there's my ORF sequence. So you can search by tone set. You can search by rhythm. You can search for Kodai songs. You can search for ORF songs. And this search tool is very powerful. You can also search in listening. And I can search by activity or by composer. If I'm searching for composer, I look for Mozart. I have lots of examples by Mozart. Let's say I'm looking for something that uses scarves. I've got ideas of things that use scarves. If I'm looking for something that uses plates, I've done some really beautiful paper plate routines. And there's lots of them as well that you can choose from. And again, I can filter if I'm looking for plate routines, let's say for grade one, here is my three that are in grade one. If I want to know what's plate routines for listening three, there I go. I've got uh, Waltz of the Flowers from the Nutcracker, Roses from the South. Um, I can search for cup games. And I've got cup games. If I don't filter by grade, I'm going to have more results. And if you happen to find something that's a false result, submit a little bug report. We'll get that fixed. We've been refining this search tool since the site opened in January of 2021, and it's working beautifully. I, I think you're really, really going to find it helpful.